Hi, it's Alyssa. So my pick this summer for rising fourth graders is The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander and Kadir Nelson. So this book is a poem and it is a love poem to America, specifically to black Americans and to the grit and the passion and the perseverance of our greatest artists and athletes and activists and to the strength of everyday people who are living history. So this book won a Newbery Honor, it won the Caldecott Medal, and it won a Coretta Scott King Medal. It is moving, it is beautiful, it is poignant, it is powerful, and it's something that everyone should read. Hello, rising fourth graders. There's a good chance that if you ask me to recommend a book to you in the library, I've already recommended this one. And if you haven't read it, here's your chance. Ari Shah and the End of Time is one of my hands down favorite books ever. It's by Roshni Takshi, and it's the story of a young girl named Aru who is known for being a little bit of a liar. Um, she she doesn't always uh, tell the whole truth about what's happening. And one day her classmates come to her house in the uh, museum of Indian history in Atlanta, Georgia, and find her in her Spider-Man pajamas. And she feels like she's caught in her lies, but rather than backing down, she gives into their, their bet to rub a lamp that she should never have rubbed, and out comes all of this chaos. So this is a fun story filled with action, adventure, friends, magic, Hindi mythology. It's amazing. I think you'll love it, and if you don't, that's okay. But if you do, come and talk to me. And there's a whole bunch of them. There's three in the series. The third one, Arusha and the Tree of Wishes just came out this year. So if you've already read Arusha and the End of Time, dive on into uh, book two, Arusha and the End of Time, or book three, Arusha and the Tree of Wishes, and come chat with me about how much you love it. Oh, and you can find all of these books on Overdrive, and I highly recommend the audiobooks because I think they're wonderful. For rising fourth graders, I recommend The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl by Stacey McAnulty. After being struck by lightning when she was eight, Lucy sustained brain damage that turned her into a math genius. She's so smart that in just four years of homeschooling, she's finished the equivalent of high school and is ready for college classes, but her Nana has other ideas. Nana wants her to attend one year of middle school, make one friend, try one new activity, and read one book that isn't about math. Though Lucy can't hide her OCD behaviors, she does hide her math genius to try to fit in at school. But navigating friendship, dealing with bullies, and finding a home for a very special dog are a lot harder than calculus. Some problems can't be solved with numbers. The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl is available on Overdrive. So my pick this summer for rising fifth graders is From the Desk of Zoe Washington by Janae Marks. So Zoe Washington gets a little bit of a shock on her 12th birthday. She checks the mail and discovers in the mail a letter to her from her dad. Now, Zoe's never met her dad. Her dad has been incarcerated since before she was born. And she's never heard from her dad before. So... She hides the letter, and she gives her mom the mail, and then she goes up to her room to read the letter, where she's a little surprised to discover that her dad has actually been writing to her for a while. She doesn't know what happened to those letters, and so she decides to write him back. And this starts a correspondence back and forth between her and her dad that she hides from her mom. Because she knows that her mom won't approve, because her mother has absolutely nothing nice to say about her dad. And Zoe's conflicted, because her dad seems like a really nice guy in the letters. He's very kind, he's very thoughtful. But he's in jail for a pretty bad thing. But in his letters, he tells her that he's innocent, that he didn't do it. And Zoe wants to believe him. But she doesn't understand how he could have been convicted for a crime he didn't do. And so she sets out on her own investigation. And she enlists the help of her former best friend, who she's currently not speaking to, to do her own search into her father's alibi. 
to figure out if he's actually telling her the truth or if he's really that bad of a guy that, like her mom says, and he really shouldn't be in her life. All of this going on while she is in the middle of an internship at a cupcake fact place in Boston where she is desperately trying to prove to her mother that she has what it takes to audition to be on the Food Network's Kids Baking Show. Zoe's got a lot on her plate this summer. Thinks she's going to be able to prove it, pull it all off? can find out in From the Desk of Zoe Washington. Hello, rising fifth graders. My summer reading pick for you is Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwame Mbalia. This is the story of a boy named Tristan who's had a rough, rough year. He, his best friend died and he feels responsible. You'll find out why in the book. And he's lost his first boxing tournament and the strong men have been boxers forever and they never lose. And now everybody's judging him. It's kind of the worst, but then he also has to leave his Chicago home to go to Alabama in the middle of nowhere to live with his grandparents for the summer because they feel like it'll toughen him up, whatever that's supposed to mean. So here he is in Alabama alone with hardly in hardly any internet and his best friend's journal that he's had uh it glows by the way no one else can see that this journal glows no idea why it's happening he's super freaked out by it but has kind of gotten used to it and then in the middle of the night this tiny creature steals the journal and so he chases this creature into the forest and chaos ensues this is a fun story mixing the stories of some really cool african-american gods like brer rabbit and john henry the legend you may have know who he is uh, as well as some really cool african gods as well like anansi the trickster spider god so if you like percy jackson even if you don't honestly because they're very different but if you like percy jackson you'll probably dig this one because you get some nice mythology if you don't like percy jackson but you do like like a bit of magic and fantasy and adventure this is the story for all i love it it's one of my favorites this is available on um, both overdrive and hoopla and i have to tell you that i strongly recommend the audiobook because it will make you laugh so hard you'll cry. I cried. I cried. It's so funny. Um, <laughs> so I hope you'll give it a shot. And either way, I hope you have a lot of fun reading because there's lots of cool books for you to check out. For rising fifth graders, I recommend Sal and Gabby Break the Universe by Carlos Hernandez. Sal learned to meditate to cope after his mother died, and now he can relax things into existence. He often uses this skill for hilarious pranks or his magic act, but sometimes he brings versions of his dead mother through. Student Council President Gabby suspects he has a secret and soon finds out that she has the power to see the tears Sal leaves behind when he rips a hole through space and time to pull things through from other dimensions. Will they figure out that Sal's tears are destabilizing the universe before it's too late? Find out if Sal and Gabby really do break the universe on Overdrive and Hoopla.